COVID-19 is an unprecedented pandemic that has indisputably impacted lives globally. As communities throughout the world look for ways to minimize the risks of COVID-19, maintaining and boosting good health is top of mind for many. To help us understand how to achieve this, I'm joined by Olushola Malomo, Publicity Secretary, Nutrition Society of Nigeria. Thank you for joining us on the news. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. Let's start by mm -hmm. you expatiating on the importance of maintaining a healthy immune system. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, there is no better time to take cognizance of one's nutrition uh, than this uh, pandemic uh, season. Looking at the, uh, uh, the, the wave at which uh, the, the virus is ravaging globally, it is important for an individual to eat uh, a diet that is nutritious and that is healthy, targeted at boosting the immune system. And the key to this is, one, staying away from um, uh, unprocessed food, as, uh, processed food as much as possible. That is to say, in your healthy diet, you should incorporate uh, fruits and vegetables uh preferably uncooked fruit and vegetable uh also nuts and uh food that are high in fiber i'll give uh, examples like our cabbage watermelon cucumber and all, all, all the like also it's very important to be hydrated uh during this season taking a lot of water taking a lot of uh, uh fruits uh, that are juicy fruits uh and all that also, it's important to reduce uh, saturated fat from the food so that an individual doesn't go into overweight uh, obesity because these complications would affect an individual much more. Uh, so it's important to limit uh, saturated fat in food. Also, it's important to reduce salt, uh, salt, salt intake uh, from food and all that. Also, Physical activity is very important. Uh, earlier, I talked about hydration. A minimum of 8 to 10 cups of water is ideal to hydrate uh, the body. But by and large, fruits and vegetables uh, is the key to boosting the immune system. Fruits rich in vitamin A and vitamin C. Our orange, uh, watermelon, avocado, pear, and some of these other fruits. But having adequate nutrition is key because... If you are malnourished, it increases the opportunity of uh, your body's immune system going down and thereby opportunity uh, diseases coming that could further break your immune system and predisposes an individual uh, to COVID-19 uh, virus. What, what would you say is the impact or correlation between maintaining a healthy immune system and COVID-19? Uh, the correlation is such that the more... The more you are adequately nourished, the more your immune system grows up and the, more, the lesser chances you have of contacting uh, COVID-19 or the more your system has an opportunity of fighting back. But when you are malnourished or when your immune system is low, that means you are more opportune, more open, more likely to contact because your body's response to fighting back has reduced. So... The more you, your nutrition, the more your, uh, Im the higher your immune system, the lesser the chances of you uh, having the COVID-19. But the lower your immune system, uh, the, the lower your nutritional status, then the, the, the more the chances of you being uh, um, dis uh, disposed to the COVID-19. Right. Earlier on while you were speaking, you did say some food, some food items that people could eat as a way to boost their immune system. Can you give us some of the practical things to do in boosting one's immune system? Okay, uh, you know, this period I, talk, I mentioned hydration and uh, fruits and vegetables, so you could do a lot of smoothies. Smoothies of um, watermelon, for example, uh, banana. Uh, you can have our conventional food also, like your semo with vegetables, lots of vegetables, like your rice, uh, rice with uh, some, some cabbage, carrots, onions, then staying away as much as possible uh, um, from uh, high salt, uh, um, elevated salt, that's reducing the salt in the intake and also 
the oil matters. Now, if you embrace oil from a plant source, a soya oil, olive oil, canola oil, and this other oil. So if you are doing breakfast reels or like your um, flakes, conflicts with your, your milk, depending on your nutritional status, if you are on the overweight side, you should work towards reducing your weight because co-complications have been discovered to, uh, mo- uh, to increase the impact of, the pand- uh, of uh, COVID-19 in individuals. You see, individuals having diabetes, obesity, and all that are at more risk of COVID-19 than individuals that are of ideal weight and thereabouts. So the target of ask yourself, look at the plate before you. An average of five to uh, five servings should come from fresh fruit and vegetable. We discover that our immunity boosts up when more of the food you eat contains antioxidants. So if you are doing uh, your bolos, for example, the uh, a banal, you have a lot of okra soup uh, with your beef or smoked fish or dry fish. This will discover that will increase the immune system. Or like someone uh, taking processed food, a lot of processed food, fizzy drinks uh, and, and the like, particularly food that contains, uh, that is dense in uh, sugar. All right, Ms. Marlon, more quickly before I let you go, can you tell us about other things, other necessary do's and don'ts of boosting one's immune, uh, immunity, one's immune system? Uh, it's important for you to rest adequately this season. It's important for you to uh, embrace moderate physical uh, activity, uh, moderate physical activity this season so that you don't uh, go overweight. Also, it is key that when you are snacking, because, because of... Uh, the, the, um, the probably the ease of lockdown thereabouts, we discover that people tend to uh, spend more time with their mobile app or TV. So when you are snacking, snack with fruits and vegetables or not, and not processed food items that are high in calories. The key word is don't ensure that you don't uh, get overweight. So balance with healthy diet and physical activity. And also take in cognizance that you need to Keep hydrating yourself, taking a lot of fluid, either your tea, uh, your, your, your coffee, your soda water, your water, or unsweetened uh, fruit juice. These are some of the activities that it is a lifestyle because the, the, the pandemic has come. And until there's a vaccine, we need to adjust our lifestyle so that we'll be able to cope, staying away. As we are staying away, keeping uh, social distance, also you need to boost your immune system so that uh, you are ready, your, your stem is ready to help you fight uh, the COVID-19. Olusola Malomo, thank you for your time. It's been a pleasure having you. You're welcome.